Hi, welcome back. I'm Narin. In this video, we will check how to get digital life certificate for your pension policies with government mandates, agencies, and banks. If you are looking for submitting life certificate for your LIC pension policy, then check out this video description where I have linked to my other video covering LIC digital app for that purpose. We will use government's Jeevan Praman app. This is not an official government channel and not related to Jeevan Praman app team. I am just a user of Jeevan Praman like any of you. If you have any issues with the app, you can ask your questions through email to jeevanpraman at gov.in. This app is provided by Government of India and it supports pensioners of state and central governments, its related agencies and some banks. You will install this app on your mobile and use it. It uses your Aadhaar details and your face through selfie. I think face authentication is available only in India. They have app for both Android and iOS. If you are using a biometric device, you need to download the software from their website. To use face-based authentication, you can get the app for Android from Google Play Store. For this, you don't need a biometric device. Rest of the video focuses more on using the app on Android. So we can uh, see it as four steps process. First two are installing two softwares and next two are using the app. We need uh, two softwares for this. They have a separate software, Aadhaar Face RD, that you need to search and install from Google Play Store first. Then you install G1 Praman Face app from Google Play Store. And you use G1 Praman app for operator authentication and pensioner authentication. Operator authentication is one time after you install the app. For next time usage, you will directly use pensioner authentication. To install first app, search Aadhaar Face RD in Google Play Store. When you find it, install this app. You won't see this app in your list of app icons in home screen after install. Instead, you need to use settings apps to find it in the list to check this app. After you install it, you don't have to do anything specifically. Main G1 command app will be using this software indirectly for some steps. For main app, search G1 Praman Face app in Google Play Store. Install it. Once the installation is done, open G1 Praman Face app in your mobile. App will ask supported biometric scanner found continue with. Click yes. Even though you may not have installed or connected any biometric scanner device, this app might be finding the previously installed Aadhaar Face RD app and considering it as a biometric scan. Give permissions to this app. Next two steps are operator authentication and pensioner authentication. Operator authentication is one time setup for this app. If you are trying to generate digital life certificate for yourself, then you will be the operator as well as pensioner. If you want to generate life certificate for someone else like family member, then you can be operator. Then the other person details will be for pensioner in next step. For operator authentication, enter your Aadhaar, mobile and email info. App uses the mobile number provided to send an OTP. Note that the mobile number you provide can also be a different one which is not linked to your Aadhaar. You get the OTP through SMS. Enter that OTP and submit. After OTP validation, enter your full name as in your Aadhaar. 
click scan to get ready for taking selfie. Click S to proceed with your face scan. It shows instructions on how to pose for the selfie. Press proceed. Now it tries to capture your selfie. It also gives any instructions as it tries to check whether your face is fully covered, tilted, etc. Follow instructions on screen to make sure your face is focused well. Once it thinks your face is covered well, instructions will indicate you to blink your eyes. When your face is covered properly and you blink, app automatically captures your picture. No need to press any capture button because it does it automatically. When it successfully captures your selfie in the last step, it displays client registration successfully. This ends the one-time operator authentication for the Next step is pensioner authentication. Previous operator authentication is one time only after app installed. For future use of the app, it always starts from this screen. Now enter the Aadhaar mobile of the pensioner here. I think there is no requirement that the mobile number should be the one linked to Aadhaar number. You can mostly enter any mobile where you will check the OTP. Enter the OTP you get through SMS. Enter the details of the pensioner. Full name as it is in Aadhaar. Type of pension like service, family, pension, etc. And the sanctioning authority like state or central government or it's related to one of the agencies or banks. Note that LIC is not in this list. If you need to use uh, the LIC related policies, you should go for the LIC digital app for that. Dispersing agency type like bank and then the actual agency that is the actual blank name in this pursuing agency is bank. Then enter the PPO number for pension and account number where you receive pension like bank account number. Mention whether re-employed or remarried, which can affect what or whether you get the pension. It will ask whether you have more than one pension to enter their information. If you had only one that you entered in previous screen, you can press no. Next, it will take you to the face scan. As indicated at the beginning of this video, you should have unlocked your Aadhaar biometric if in case it was locked. Press scan. Press yes to continue with face scan. It shows instructions on how the pensioner can pose for the selfie. Press proceed. Now it tries to capture pensioner selfie. If you are only the operator and trying for some other pensioner, make sure you cover the face of the pensioner and not yours. It also gives any instructions as it tries to check whether pensioner's face is fully focused or tilted etc. As you try to focus the pensioner face using the phone, follow instructions on screen to make sure pensioner face is focused well. Once it thinks that the pensioner face is covered well, instructions will indicate the pensioner to blink their eyes. When pensioner's face is focused properly and they blink, app automatically captures the picture no need to press any capture button if you are both operator and pensioner then you are actually doing your selfie again once for initial operator authentication and now as pensioner again once it captures the pensioner face 
it shows that certificate is submitted. It will also display the Praman ID generated. Pensioner will also get the SMS with Praman ID and URL where to download the certificate. You can go to jivanpraman.gov.in URL mentioned in your SMS and enter your Praman ID and OTP. It displays the live certificate which you can download or print. Certificate will also indicate at the bottom that it has been successfully accepted by dispersing agency. This website page lists all agencies related to government, banks, etc. whose pension if you possess, you can use G1 Praman app for submitting the digital life certificate. Note that LIC is not in this list for which you should use their LIC digital app for which you can check my other video listed in this video description. Some more tips on face scan while taking this If you find this useful, please like, subscribe and share and thanks for watching.